Now the thymus and beta four, it's the, what I think of its main role in terms of, of healing is reducing fibrosis, right? It's gonna decrease scar tissue formation. Well, we know that in the process of an injury, again, whether that's an injection or that's you rolled your ankle, there is, we go through inflammation, we go through proliferation, then we go through remodeling. In that remodeling phase, if you're over the age of six to 10, you are going to have some scar formation, right? Everybody knows that. Even you cut yourself deep enough, you're going to have a scar. If you had that same cut when you were four years old, you probably wouldn't have a scar because we have scarless healing at that age. But as teens and adults, we lose that. And that's because we don't have the capacity to heal it something 100%. So there will be scar tissue formation. So the way I think about thymus and beta-4 is we incorporate this with the injections such that we might get less scar tissue formation from our injection. Because our injections, while they are regenerative medicine, we're, it, it, it's not like, you know, we're not, yeah, we're not putting a needle in and just like, boom, this tendon now looks like it was when you were 13 years old, right? Yes, we can improve what it looks like on imaging, and yes, we can improve functional parameters, pain and activity and things like that, but there's still going to be some scar tissue formation because that's how our body heals. And so that's why I really like pairing in that thymus and beta-4 because it can help reduce the amount of scar tissue formation and hopefully help augment that procedure, again, in a more synergistic way where one plus one equals a number that's greater than two.